The study actually was uh, designed very simplistically. I asked cardiology to send us a number of, of patients who were absolutely uh, representative of a group who'd had a significant shot across the bow. They had coronary artery disease, but in actual fact, as my late brother-in-law says, uh, uh, I got the walking dead. These were patients who had failed their first or second angioplasty, they had failed their first or second bypass, they were too sick for these procedures, or they had refused. And five were, had been told by their expert cardiologist that they would not live out the year. Well, uh, now, my challenge was, <clears throat> how was I going to get these people to uh, eat this plant-based nutrition? Because here I was asking an awful lot of these people because they were seeing a general surgeon who had this <clears throat> kind of crazy idea that if you ate plant-based, you might be able to actually uh, halt or, or reverse your heart disease. And uh, so, how was I going to accomplish this? I was not a trained uh, psychologist in, in behavioral modification. So I decided to use the same mantra that I, for these patients that I used for my cancer patients, namely that uh, I had learned this from uh, a surgeon for whom I had great respect on the West Coast years ago, and that was Bert Dunphy. And he, Bert said that patients with cancer are not afraid to suffer. Patients with cancer are not afraid to die. But patients with cancer are afraid of being abandoned by their family or by their physician. So to see if I could get these patients from bailing out on us, I saw them every two weeks in the office uh, for the first five years. And then I lengthened it out to every four weeks for the next five years so that by a decade now they really were pretty well on autopilot. And I was able to uh, lengthen it out to, to quarterly. But the exciting thing was that what we, what we saw with these patients was that all those, all those compliant patients totally arrested any further progression of their disease. And we often saw, with some of the follow-up angiograms, striking evidence of disease reversal. And that's what sort of inspired me, even after I was retired from surgery, uh, to keep going with this program and uh, see if we couldn't really lengthen it out, broaden it, and make the whole entire foundation of this experience uh, more solid.